Okay, today we're going to have a little departure from the usual fountain pen fare. Uh, this is the Fisher Space Pen Infinium. And what's special about this pen is that it comes with a lifetime supply of ink. If you ever run out, they'll give you a new one. It packs really small. When I first saw it in the package, I thought, ooh, I hate that because I tend to like big pens. Let me give you a measurement here. This is four and a quarter. Yeah, just a smidge over four and a quarter. Um, but when you post it, and it does post securely, um, it comes out five and a half, which is acceptable to me. And uh, I'm going to measure it in a second, but I want to tell you these rings give you a better grip and somehow in the hand, this is one of those pins that I mention every once in a while, um, like the Parker Vacuumatic Oversize, that although it's not quite as big as I normally like, feels bigger in the hand. That's a suggest suggestive call, and you may not agree. All right, let's get the measurement on the grip section. And we come out at 0.43. Now, see, normally that would be too small for me. However, I would say that this is, I use this as a backup pen. I carry it with me on trips to make sure I always have ink. I carry this and also a Thai Arto Click EDC, which can take any kind of refill. And I usually have it filled with a space pen refill when I'm traveling. Because in that case, both of these pens will write over water, over grease, which I'm going to demonstrate. A little bit of water on my hand I'm putting on the pad and here we go now there will be a little dispersion of the ink even though it writes underwater but the line is there and you can read it Now, when you really have a lot of water, you don't even see that dispersion. But you can see the lines are clear to read. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, which I hate to put on my pad. But we got to show you how this thing works. So, here we go. This is Bertoli Extra Light Olive Oil. Don't tell my wife I used her cooking oil. All right, there's a big blob of the cooking oil. And here we go. Now, what I can tell you is it did write under the oil. But you do have to press a little harder because you're having to push the oil kind of out of the way a little bit. Okay, but normally you're not writing in a puddle of oil, you're writing on a grease smudge. And look, it's still, once you get to the dry paper, writing just great. Okay. 